Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're gonna to be doing a Dutch pour with Primal Flow Premix ready to pour paints. I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas. This canvas I had poured previously and scraped it. So that's what the um, basically coloring you're seeing, the pink is just scraped paint from a previous pour. We're gonna be using Shimmer Black, Cobalt Turquoise, Plum Purple, Perfect and ink and gold for this pour and the primal flow paints are ready to go all you have to do is shake the bottle and then pour them they're super easy to use and if you want to check them out I'll link all their information below in the description box so I'm just going in with my shimmer black I'm just pouring I would say probably about three ounces of the shimmer black on the 16 by 20 canvas and I'm going to tilt it just like I would an acrylic pour until it's nice and evenly distributed. Now I'm going to go in with my cobalt turquoise and I was just going to say I cut out the tilting just to save time so you guys didn't have to sit through that. So I'm just making a diagonal line as you could see straight from the bottle with the turquoise and then I'm going in with the Plum Perfect on top of that and some of that really pretty ink and gold. This gold you guys you'll see at the end it dries so beautiful and metallic it's amazing. I'm running out of my ink and gold as you can see so I was trying to squeeze every last drop out. I'm just flooding my little um, line here with some of that shimmer black and I'm going to go in with my lung power here and just kind of blow that shimmer black over my colors and then I'm going to go in with some of my cell activator. This is um, something that I mixed up on my own. It is the Amsterdam titanium white and Floetrol and that is one teaspoon Amsterdam Amsterdam titanium white acrylic paint to two and three quarter tablespoons Floetrol. If you want to see exactly how to mix it, I will link the video down below where I show you how to mix that. It is my bloom technique video. So here I'm going in with my Revlon hair dryer on cool temperature setting and high airflow setting, and I'm just blowing that white over my colors to get those nice cells. And this hair dryer um, I got off Amazon. It's an 1875 watt Revlon hair dryer and it works pretty well to move the move the paint around. Um, so here I'm just going in with my lung power and just kind of blowing out some of the sections just to kind of make them a little bit more wispy into that negative space shimmer black but I'm really loving how those cells are developing from that Amsterdam titanium white and I'm going to go in and do a diagonal line here on the bottom right corner and the top left corner just to kind of give it a little bit more interest. I was just gonna do the one in the center, but I thought it was missing something. So then again, I'm going in with that Plum Perfect right on top of the Cobalt Turquoise. And I'm really tapping that ink and gold and it started to kind of explode on me. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't want that much to come out. So I'm just doing the same thing, adding a little bit of the ink and gold. And then I'm gonna put in some of that shimmer black around each of the lines. And I will show you my new favorite way to kind of varnish my paintings at the end of the video. There's two spray varnishes that I'm really, really loving right now. They're not exactly varnishes, but you'll see at the end of the video. So just stick around for that. And then I'm just going in with some of that titanium white again on top there, just so I can get those pretty cells. And I use my lung power um, like you saw, just to blow that shimmer black over my colors there. And I was getting low on my white here, so I was just really trying to get every last drop out of my little container. This white will last you a really long time. You don't have to make up a whole bunch of it, which is nice. And again, I'm going in with my hair dryer on temperature setting cool, airflow high and just kind of moving that paint around. I was trying to get that white to blow over the colors, but I didn't have enough on there. So I am going to add a little bit more white and then go in with my lung power and just kind of blow it around to get some of those nice cells.
And here I'm going in with my lung power again and I accidentally dipped my hair in the white. You can see it, boom, I dipped my hair in the middle there, but that's okay. And when you're blowing that white, you want to make sure you're kind of blowing it down and out over your colors. So that way it spreads out nicely over your colors and gives you that nice lacing. So that's how I like to think of it. You're trying to blow down and out. That's the easiest way I thought I could explain it to for it to kind of make sense to everyone. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in the top left corner here and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up so you can see what it's looking like. And here is the wet finish close-up. Here's the bottom right corner. It's got some fun lacing happening right here in the middle. And that ink and gold is so pretty, you guys. It's just so shimmery and metallic, and it dries even prettier, which is, like, so hard to believe, right? I'll show you in a few minutes here what it looks like when it's all dry. And, um, again, the colors I used were the Plum Perfect, Cobalt Turquoise, and Ink and Gold, and Shimmer Black. Um, those are from Primal Flow Paint. I'll link their information down below, and if you want to check them out, you can use code NAPTIME in all caps to get a discount. This section up here, too, had some really fun lacing. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in about 24 hours when it is all nice and dry and hanging up on the wall. So here it is. It's actually about 48 hours later. This one was 16 by 20, so it took a little bit longer to dry, but everything stayed put. It didn't move around at all. All of the nice cells and lacing stayed put, but look at that ink and gold. It is so bright and metallic and pretty. See how beautiful that is? It's like my favorite gold to use. I'm going to have to um, order some more soon. Because, remember, I was, like, totally out. So, um, how I like to finish these paintings, I have two sprays that I like to use instead of varnish. Um, because with varnish, you know, you can get brush strokes. Um, my other favorite way to finish my acrylic pores is resin. But I'll show you guys here in a few seconds uh, what my new favorite two products are to use to finish my acrylic pores. But what do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you guys are all doing good so far and you're having a happy new year. Happy 2020 to everybody. I started off my first day of 2020 with a migraine, so that was no fun, but I'm feeling much better now. So that's good. I was like, oh no, I don't wanna start the new year out this way. <laughs> So here are my two favorite um, sprays to use on my acrylic pores. This is the Krylon Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze. So what I like to do is on a nice day, go outside, spray two coats of that Krylon Triple Thick Clear Glaze glaze, wait for it to dry, and then the next day go in with one coat of this Rust-Oleum 2 times Gloss Clear Spray. And this has UV resistance in it, so that's good to protect your painting as well. And I did that on this little guy here, and look at how shiny and glossy that is. Can you guys see that? It looks like it has resin on it. See how pretty that shine is? Um, this is my bloom technique piece that I posted a few videos back. If you want to check that out, I will link it down below. So again, I just like to use these two sprays. Super simple and easy, and you don't have to worry about brush strokes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. If you liked it, go ahead and leave me a like. Or another thing that would help me out is if you go watch a few more of my videos or even a playlist. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on Monday for another video. Bye!